Hello there. As I value your time, let's move directly to today's topic. I'll introduce myself at the end of the video. Stick around to see how understanding this principle can transform your coding approach. Here you see a business class and in method inside it, execute method. And this is a reference to the light object. In real world, it's possible that instead of creating a new object here, you must be receiving it as a method argument. Next step here is we are trying to get the state of the light and then this logic here it is trying to toggle the state of the light. If light is on turn it off otherwise turn it on. So it's toggling the state. Is there any problem here? Yes, it's breaking the encapsulation. This is a business class which is peeking inside the light object. It's asking the state and then taking the decision on basis of that state. In object oriented programming world, asking the state of an object and then taking a decision is a big no. So what's the solution? It's simple. Tell, don't ask. So we should tell the objects to do something for us instead of asking for the state. Can we refactor it for that? Yes. So this logic here, let's copy it and uh, let's go inside the light object here and it have method get a state, turn on and turn off. I think uh, let's add a method here, toggle. Let's uh, perfectly fine for us and if we put the state here is on this dot turn off this dot turn on so it's a simple method now this method is looking for it this light class internal state and taking the decision and these turn off and turn on are the internal methods and since uh, now it is available as a method we can remove it completely and uh, Like a toggle. So the code is simpler in the business class now. And take a look again at the light class. So here it provides a behavior of toggling the light. What are the benefits of this code? Now light object is autonomous. It can do anything which is related to itself. Classes are cleaner and easier to debug. Remember, good object oriented design is all about letting objects manage their own state. By following the tell don't ask principle, we respect the autonomy of the objects, making our code not just cleaner, but also more efficient and easier to debug. Myself, Arun, having 14 years of experience in IT industry and keen to learn and share. Please leave a comment below in case of queries related to this video or if you have any other queries, please feel free to leave a comment. Happy coding.